Hi, this is the first video of my new channel, Scott's Phantom, and I've got this one tip. I've had this thing out to fly once. I've only just bought it, and I've made an, a, an expensive mistake. So, tip number one, crucial, uh, specifically when using the Zenmuse gimbal with the GoPro, is attach your aerial before you switch the Phantom on. The consequence of this is that you risk melting your transmitter. This particular transmitter is a Boscam TS 832-32 channel. Now I think it's uh, 600 uh, milliwatts output. It's, it's, I'm told it's a high output um, little gizmo this, uh, little transmitter. So it's great for your um, the distance that you can fly with this thing. It's great for your range for getting your uh, picture back to your first person view screen um, but do not forget to put your aerial on it uh, the, the issue with uh, this little thing I'll show you just below the um, where the battery goes in uh, this little piece here uh, where you put the aerial into the transmitter actually protrudes a little bit from the the, the side so it comes out like that so when you put it back into the case uh, it just interferes with it and um, now a solution to this so that you can leave your aerial on it and never make that mistake might be to try to uh, attach this a little bit further back on the bottom uh, and you may be able to do this uh, by some other way of attaching it so um, I'm not entirely sure that's possible um, but you may figure out a way or just cutting an extra groove into the um, into the bag here um, so that you can put it in with this thing protruding tune into the next video uh, for my next trials and tribulations with a Phantom 2 and Zenmuse gimbal